Hello everyone and welcome to day three of Primer Palooza here on my channel. I'm excited to continue on here and try for another primer because so far we've had misses. <laughs> we have had two misses and I am ready for a hit. Did I just jinx you? I don't know, but we shall find out. Today I have got this deluxe sample of the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I had gotten this in a Sephora Play, I do believe, and this is another one that gets great reviews online, so I'm excited to test it out. The full size is typically $38 for an ounce of this product. And they do offer a mini size that is half the size, so it is half an ounce, and it is $18, so it's another one of those primers where it's like, you technically get a better value if you would just buy two of the minis. I guess it's just the difference in that do you want a pump or do you want a squeezy tube? That sort of a thing. This claims to be good for all skin types, sensitive, normal, oily, dry, combo, all of the above. This is supposed to be good for everyone, which always kind of makes me nervous because it's like, I don't think it's possible for a product to be good for everyone when it comes to like skin products. But hey, maybe Becca's about to prove me wrong. And like the title of this primer suggests, this is just supposed to blur all of your imperfections, get rid of dullness and wrinkles, and even out your skin tone and give you that radiant glow. It says that it's going to extend your makeup from day to night, so to me that reads as it's gonna help your makeup last all day. And it's infused with three unique pearls that give it like a one-of-a-kind filter on your face. They all blend together and diffuse and make you look beautiful and give you a good canvas for the rest of your makeup. And I guess this has vitamin E in it, which is what is supposed to help with getting rid of wrinkles and stuff. I don't know the science behind it, and if that is true, but that is what they claim. And like most, if not all primers, they say you can use this alone or you can use it under your makeup, apply it all over your face or in just specific spots wherever you want. And also Becca is a cruelty-free brand, so that's good too. So I think that's about it. I think that's about all I can tell you. I am excited to test this out on my face here and show you guys how it wears throughout the day in this video. So let's go ahead, let's sing the Primer Palooza song together and then we can go ahead and get testing. Primer Palooza! Loser, winner or loser. I feel like there should be something more to it, but at the same time, I kind of like it. It's simple. It's quick. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we'll get you. We'll get you zoomed in here. Here's my face. I am still having my lovely hormonal slash trying out new primers breakouts on my face and as always I am wearing my glasses in this review for the fellow glasses wearers of the world so we can see how this primer does under the glasses if it makes it slip and slide or if it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> I'm excited this sample it comes with a pump so oh oh wow that is a very working pump. <laughs> Good job Becca. Ooh, it smells kind of kind of fruity. I just got some on my nose there. Mm, I like it, but it's like this light beigey color. I don't, I'm assuming it's gonna go on clear, but I guess we will find out. I don't know. It didn't say exactly how much to use, so I'm just gonna put on a normal amount for me. Mmm. I really like the smell of this. <laughs> it is, it's just a very like bright kind of fruity scent and it feels kind of like cooling going on so it feels moisturizing. I'm just going to be applying this to half of my face so we can see how half of my face does with the primer and then half without. See if there's any sort of a difference. Immediately I don't see any difference. There is a slight kind of like shimmer on my skin. The camera, there's no way it's gonna be able to pick that up, but there is a slight shimmer. My face feels, you know, just as smooth on the one side, you know, maybe a bit smoother on this side, but I don't think there's really a difference. Like I can't see myself personally wearing this on days where I don't wear makeup because I don't personally see a difference, but it doesn't feel like that heavy silicone feeling or anything. It doesn't feel like silicone-y at all. So, so far feeling good. I'm excited to see how my makeup goes on on top of that. So let's go ahead and do that. Thank you. 
there we go, you guys. I think in terms of how it went on, it went on just as nicely as the side that didn't have primer, but I can definitely tell a difference on this side. The foundation just looks a lot smoother and more blurred and everything, like they said. So hopefully you'll be able to see that on camera as well. I really do, I just feel like it looks a lot more natural and blurred and everything on that side than the non-primer side. So yeah, there we go, you guys. I think that is about it for now. So I'm just gonna go ahead, get on with my day, put on the rest of my makeup. I've got another video I need to film here. And then I think I'm doing something with my mom tonight. Either way, it'll be a day. I'm excited to show you guys how this primer ends up helping or not helping the foundation wear. So I'll be checking in with you all periodically for those check-ins. It is currently just about quarter to one in the afternoon. I will just be seeing you all at the very end of the night. So I will see you all very soon here on YouTube land. Bye. Is currently 1 46 in the morning sometimes I forget I should I should go to bed <laughs> but that's okay I got lots of work done tonight which feels really good I got lots of work done earlier today and I also went and had dinner and saw a movie with my Namuti we went and saw I Tanya and it was very good so that was nice but the primer and my foundation let's see how it has held up all night tonight of me staring into my laptop screen getting work done I think there is a difference. I hope you guys can see that on camera. I do think that the Becca side looks better. I don't think it looks a lot, a lot better, but I do think it looks better. I mean, I think you can see on my forehead, I think it looks a little splotchy on the non-primed side. There was, however, creasing on both sides in between my eyebrows, so the primer didn't really help with that. And then on my cheeks and stuff, I think my pores just look better on the Becca side, and I feel like the foundation came off like almost completely on my nostril on the not primed side, compared to there still being a little bit of foundation left on my primed nostril. I also think my highlighter stayed on better on the primed side, as well as my blush, and the foundation also looks a lot cakier on the not primed side on the corner of my mouth, compared to looking not quite as cakey on the other corner of my mouth. So, a difference? Yes, this primer definitely made a difference. Did it make enough of a difference for me to ever want to buy it? I don't know. I'm gonna have to test this further, but I didn't hate it. And I think out of the three days so far, this is definitely, I shouldn't even say I think, this is definitely my favorite primer that I've used out of Primer Palooza so far. It has felt really lightweight all day. I felt like if I ever touched my face, which I have, my foundation doesn't come off on my fingers, so that's great. And overall, I mean, I just think it looks nice, you know, and it did help a little bit. So, to put my feelings into a numerical perspective for you guys, I have got my paw rating system here. We take out the S of paws for these primer videos because, you know, at least I don't think there will ever really be a time where shade range comes into consideration. At least for the ones I've tried so far, you know, it's a universal clear shade, so it should work for everybody. So just my paw system here. P stands for performance, A is for application, W is for worth the price. So, <laughs> for performance, it did okay, and it did help. Not like the best, it didn't do the best, but it did do better than okay, I think. You know, I'm gonna give it a solid three out of five on performance for application. It went on very nicely. I liked the smell of it. It was very smooth and hydrating feeling. So I'm gonna give it a five out of five on application. 
worth the price? Eh, I mean, it's better than the other ones I've tried. For someone who has like maybe dry skin or normal skin, I could see this maybe making a bigger difference for them and being more worth the price. For me and any other oily skinned beauties out there, I don't really think it's worth the price, at least not at this point after my first try of it. So I'm going to give it a one and a half. I'm going to give it a one and a half. So overall, this is getting a nine and a half out of 15 or a 3.16 repeating out of five paws. I think that pretty much sums it up too. You know, it was a little bit better than just okay. You know, okay being two and a half out of five it better than that. So a little over three out of five. So I think that about puts it into perspective. As always, I hope this video slash review was helpful for you guys in seeing whether or not this primer is going to be something you're going to want to check out in the future. Maybe it's something you're going to want to avoid. I hope you are enjoying Primer Palooza so far. If you are, if you enjoyed the video, all of that good stuff, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future, like my future Primer Palooza videos. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!